followed this, um, this issue for, for so long and seen it go through all these different iterations and, um, uh, and you're now able to sort of anticipate some of the tactics that they may use. And, and now we have uh, Ray Comfort and Kirk Cameron, have you heard about this? Oh yeah. Um, they will be handing out free copies of um, uh, Darwin's On the Origin of Species in November, which I think is the 150th. November 19th is the day of distribution. 150th anniversary of its publication? Yes. Um, the only thing is it's going to have a 50-page introduction by Ray Comfort. And if for those of you who may not be familiar, Ray Comfort is the man that became uh, famous or infamous by claiming that the common banana <laughs> was proof that there's an intelligent designer. And uh, he, he and his buddy, Kirk Cameron, and Kirk Cameron, I think, played Potsy on TV or, or Opie for a while, and is also now a religious fanatic. But these guys will be handing out free copies of On the Origin of Species with this 50-page introduction in it. The only problem is the introduction is by Ray Comfort, and it, and it reflects his normal moronic rhetoric about uh, where he confuses evolution and abiogenesis and he claims that evolution can't possibly be true because he's never seen a half cat and a half dog or a crocodile duck or something. He's, he's oh, right on that account. Oh, and he's, uh, he's, go got, and he's yeah. going to explain Can how evolution is responsible for Hitler and all of I Hitler's have, actions. Of um, is this an area where the National Center for Science Education can do anything or do you just expect that once a kid gets to college they should be informed enough to, to realize that, that these guys are, are being foolish? And, I'm less concerned with 100,000 copies of a book being distributed on college campuses um, because most of them will probably end up in the trash. Anyway, that's what happens when you give something away for free. Uh, but these things will sort of float around into the, you know, the, the regular population. Um, we'll have a, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have information on the website about you know, here's where it's wrong, here's where it's just scientifically not true, here's where you can find more information on this if you're interested. Um, you know, there, there, there have been a variety of, of uh, efforts like this. Uh, about five years ago, Harun Yahya, the Turkish uh, creationist, flooded the um, market, as it were, with hundreds of thousands of copies of this small book called Evolution Deceit that uh, were, again, given out freely on uh, high schools and campuses and everything else. Now, um, you know, we did an analysis of that, and here's why it's wrong. It's the same old, same old. It's just a repackaging mostly of the ICR stuff with, without the Young Earth stuff and without Jesus. But, uh, um, but it, never, it didn't really have much of an effect, you know. Uh, it, 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 they, they don't seem to have much of a measurable effect. Um, what I... I, I think the perspective that people on our side of this issue need to keep in mind is that it's not so much individual acts, it's not so much a movie like Expelled, it's not so much uh, the augmented on the origin of species, it's not so much evolution deceit or any of these other kind of mass marketing sorts of things. It's the overall effect of kind of the nibbling away at the confidence in evolution and science in general that we have to worry about. Yeah. And um, f at that, you have to sort of stand back and say, well, how, you know, how are they pushing this? You know, what, what, what's, what's their framework? What, what is, how are they getting these ideas across? And the major, the, the most successful way of getting these ideas across is through what we call the fairness pillar of creationism. This idea of appealing to people's sense of a good, strong, and, and God bless us all, American tradition of um, uh, open-mindedness and hearing all sides of a story and letting people express themselves and letting all views be heard, town meetings and all this sort of stuff. Mm. That's a great tradition. It's got nothing to do with how we do science. Right. Um, but as far as what the public hears, um, what they hear is scientists are being dogmatic. We are, we got our fingers in our ears. We're not listening to this new evidence. 
we've got to we we've we've got to uh, blunt that attack, and uh, we've got the truth. Uh, the truth is we actually have listened to these arguments. There are shelves of books. There are um, at NCSE alone. There are uh, uh, filing cabinets full of articles. There are digits by the million. <laughs> Uh, not digits, those are digits, um, uh, digital communications by the millions on, on the internet, um, which say, here's what they say, here's why it's scientifically wrong, here's why it's logically wrong, here's why it doesn't fit the evidence. We have looked at these arguments. We didn't just stick our fingers in our ears and close our eyes. We've listened to their arguments, we've told them why the arguments are wrong. In a normal form of science, when you're told what's wrong with your, your explanation, you go back, you do some more work, you do more research, you recombine your ideas, you test some more hypotheses, and then you come back to the scientific community and say, how about now? And then people say, well, you got this right, but you know, you still haven't looked at this right. You still have, and this is this iterative back and forth kind of process. Nobody said science is easy. Nobody gives you a rose garden here. Um, one of the things that I often do when I'm speaking at a university audience is I say, how many of you have submitted a paper to a professional journal? And, wow, you know, a hundred hands go up. Okay. Keep your hand up if every single article has been accepted. And everybody <laughs>, laughs and all the hands go down. You know? And it makes the point that, you know, just because you present an idea doesn't mean it goes into the consensus of science. Right. You actually have to be right. <laughs> and you actually have to support this idea. And this is what the creationists and the ID guys are not doing. Mm -hmm.